Scorpio. Hey, water babies. What's up? What's going on in the life of a Scorpio? Me and Munch, you lie. <laughs> Welcome to Mocha Love Tarot. This is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. Also, I would like to thank everyone for the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, the love in the comment section. I love you all so very much. I appreciate it. It helps me build my damn oomph back up when I'm feeling low. Okay? And Scorpio, I ain't gonna lie. I've been trying to do y'all video for hours. Just trying to get the energy around it because before I do these videos, I have to meditate on the science energy. So typically, I kind of take on that energy of the sign in which I'm doing. And with y'all energy, it was very indecisive. Okay. It was, when I say indecisive, indecisive on a whole nother level. Okay. And so I had to, you know, get me right because. It was kind of like a come and go, come and go, come and go, come and go like energy. Okay. Scorpio, intuitively, I strongly feel that, you know, a lot of y'all are seeking balance. You're needing balance in your life. Some of y'all are coming out of financial hardships or maybe the focus could just simply be money between the 15th and the 31st of July. A lot of y'all don't know that. If you simply just follow your passions and take that leap of faith for whatever it is that you do, whether you're a writer, singer, stripper, I, Mocha don't judge. However you get your money, go hard in the paint. Turn your pain into power, as I told Cancer. Some of y'all could also be dealing with a Cancer. Um, Scorpio, intuitively, some of y'all are holding secrets. Some of y'all are, some of those secrets are going to crumble between the 15th and the 31st of July, Spirit says, and it has to do with needed life learned lessons. A lot of y'all or the energy around y'all, y'all have to come out of this victimized mode. I feel like a lot of y'all are attracting the same people or different people with the same, like the same person in different people, okay? You've seen that one face several times in many different faces because it's a lesson that you need to learn from it about yourself, all right? And that lesson will be gained, that knowledge will be gained, and it'll help you balance yourself out internally in order to allow your light illuminate that externally okay um mid-month july and it'll kind of help you come out of that indecisive energy i'm hearing finally you made a decision okay Whew. that feels so much better y'all energy was so indecisive okay so of course this is for the sun moon rising venus as well as the cross watchers for the suns for the sun sign of scorpio between um the 15th and the 31st of july okay um this is not a personal it's a general reading so if you do need a personal reading you can hit me up all that information can be found in the description booth all right let's rock so spirit please give me the messages 15th and 31st Thank you. Talk fast, y'all. Let me find out again. There you go. Let's get it, all right? All right, Scorpio, I'm going to start with y'all. Um, with I drew some Dreams of God tarot cards, okay? And what I got for y'all from the 15th to the 31st of July, I do see a lot of y'all will be working on balancing out your, fe your feminine and your masculine energies, okay? So I do see some of y'all, like I spoke to y'all about earlier intuitively, I feel like some of y'all are having to go through some of these life learn lessons, okay? Or deal with some of these karmic partners or release some of these karmic partners. But they want, don't look at no time as waste time. No time is waste time. It just gave you enough time to figure out what you will and will not accept from nobody. Period, okay? So I feel like with some of y'all, y'all going through some of these things with letting go. You're walking into greatness, but you're going to have to leave some things, some ways, some perspectives, some mindsets behind, okay? And it's going to help you to get the balance in which you're seeking for, and what you're seeking, your desire. Okay. Also, hold on, let me light my throat chakra candle dealing with Scorpio because my words were not jumbled just a minute ago. I was singing Miguel, come through and chill. Okay. 
in meditation mode before I came in here with this shamanic music. And then I say, you know what? <clears throat> I ain't finna, y'all not finna have me not able to talk. Hold on, let, let me dig. We family. Give me just a second. Look like I'm a Leah. But yeah, a lot of y'all have to balance out yourselves. What in the hell? Okay. Some more can't got no lighter. All right, let me see. You know what? I'm an Aries. I be having a plan B. Hold on, y'all. Excuse me. I apologize. I got to light my throat chakra, chakra candle so I can be great for y'all because goodness. My goodness. All right. So, you know what? Can't find it. We finna thug it out. All right. <sighs> my words today all over the place. I apologize. <clears throat> but I do see y'all as well. I have the the five of air. For some of y'all, some of y'all could have left. Hold on. Damn, glad. See the woman in the background right here? Some of y'all could have left someone out. Okay, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But some of y'all, or Scorpio, this could be how you feeling. You feel like maybe somebody cut you off or you had to cut somebody off. You know, to focus on your will, to focus on, and I felt like a lot of y'all had a poker face in doing so, okay? <clears throat> I also feel like now you're wanting to reunite with this person and express the love that you have for them because you did want to expand with them. You actually wanted whatever relationship that you had to grow. You wanted to give this person love. However, you was just, a lot of y'all was kind of <laughs> giving that person a poker face. Okay, and now you found the balance. You found, you know, both sides of the fence, what it feels like. Because I feel like you may have left somebody out in the cold, but it's kind of like <clears throat> you walked out on yourself, you know. I feel like we're walking away from this person, Scorpio, it brought you balance, okay. It brought you some type of, some type of balance, but now I feel like you want to make this solid I mean, I feel like you want to materialize something. Some of y'all could also be trying to give an offer or receive an offer from a tourist, okay? Something is definitely going to materialize for y'all. Whatever it is that you've been working on, whatever it is that you've put your focus into, into your passions, it's brought you some form of balance, okay? For some of y'all, y'all balance is off, okay? You need to find that balance. You need to balance the masculine and the feminine side of yourself. Embrace them both. Move forward on that masculine energy, towards your passions, okay, but with your feminine energy, please, 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 y'all be willing to share your emotions with someone, if you love somebody, tell them you love them, okay, with all the crazy shit happening in the world, you don't even know if you're going to wake up to people, in there. I mean, this is just some real jig, keeping your feelings close to your chest like that, a lot of y'all can feel me, because this is how you're feeling, you lose sometimes, because people are not going to wait forever, and if this is Scorpio, somebody doing this to y'all, you ain't supposed to wait forever, Okay, it's too many damn, it's too many people in the world who are good people. You get what I'm saying? To be dealing with one person who just want to have sitting this damn energy. We can't grow with this poker face instead of expressing your love because I don't know the intention. I don't know what you're coming in my life for. What you want? Who sent you? Scorpio, y'all from Mars. Like, I'm Aries. Y'all from Mars. We Mars babies. We off the rip. Who sent you? Straight like that. Who sent you? You know, and so because of that, your defenses be up. All right. <clears throat> and I feel like a lot of y'all in the past dealt with somebody with a poker face, and now some of y'all are resentful. Not resentful. I'm sorry. Regretful. Okay. For some of y'all, y'all are resentful. Okay. Because the next angel message that I got is Topaz from the Doreen Crystal Virtue deck. It says, forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it is blocking your health and happiness. For some of y'all, maybe you and your partner in the past, both of y'all had flaws that y'all had to work on. But instead of hearing this person out and actually not just hearing this person out to reply to them, but hearing this person out to grow, some of y'all decide to, uh, if you, whatever, I'm gone. And now maybe you dealt with somebody else and now this issue is coming up again. It's resurfacing again because this, that's that's a lesson. That's a blockage, Scorpio, that you have to get past. If everyone has the same issue with you or you have the same issue with everyone, maybe it's time for you to pull back and be like, hold up. 
Because see, balance starts internally. It starts with you. Okay, so it's time for you to pull back and be like, hold on, wait a minute. What the hell was I doing in all these relationships to make me keep having the same damn result? I feel like a damn guinea pig. Over and over again, this damn round. So I don't want to be no damn guinea pig. I could be everything in the damn world. You could be in. Don't scope your. Don't be a guinea pig, okay? And whoever the hell you deal with, don't be a guinea pig, okay? Tell them shit. Bye, Fifi. Bye, Frank. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right. The next message I have is appetite. But with that forgiveness heals. I feel like. Y'all have to forgive someone. There is someone that you're needing to forgive and release in order to move forward, to get you out of this conflict and feeling, okay? Because that will help you with that balancing of getting in the game. Because it's a very divine time, baby. It's soulmate twin flame season. We at you. You understand all this light and love in the world? It's time to find the unconditional love in everybody, even if you got to send them out their way. Find the positivity in everything. 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 Okay? So the next message that I have is appetite, progress, not perfection. I feel like some of y'all are feeling like, oh, let me read the poem first. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. Okay? It's not for any kind of goals in, in, in accordance with this damn forgiveness heals. Don't focus on what Keisha and them doing, what, what, what uh, rolling them over there doing. Because rolling them don't know how to jump hurdles like Scorpio know how to jump hurdles. Roland ain't gonna bust a grape in Wilch's backyard. Shit the shit hit the fan. But Scorpio, like Aries, is from Mars. So because we walk with that passion and that spirit and everything we touch, we see, we feel, we deal with, we fuck with like that. We put our passion into that shit. But it's no use in putting passion into something if you're not going to give your feelings and then resent a person later because they didn't just know because you, you felt like they should have just knew. No one's just going to know what's right for you and how you move if you don't give them that opportunity because you take from yourself when you do that. Okay, so it's not for you to judge yourself, oh, this person, because for some of y'all, y'all call me lesson was well, that person moved on. You, let, you probably left them and you thought you was expecting for the chase. Or well, this person, whoever you're dealing with, they was expecting a chase. I feel like in this case, both parties shut it down. You got nothing. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like now there could be both of y'all feeling this regretful energy. You get what I'm saying? Because feelings was held close to the chest. And I feel a lot of stiffness. Even when I was doing it, I felt stiff. I felt a lot of stiffness. Like, I should have went out there and kicked the punching bag six times. You know, like, it's a lot of stiffness. Okay? It's okay to embrace that feminine energy. You have to let those walls of trust down, okay? <clears throat> but don't compare yourself to other people. Don't worry about what they got going on. I don't give a damn if you stay in a six-bedroom house with a Versace driveway or whatever. You know, I be banging Cardi B, so it's kind of... It's in my head because I'm manifesting my lottery ticket. You understand? So I, I be listening to money bag, money bag, money bag. I be, I've been listening to that because I'm manifesting my money bag. Don't, don't worry about me. Okay? And then 333 three, three hit my door. Ha! Ha! It's me. Also, your thoughts are manifesting very quickly. Mars is in retrograde. Y'all Mar have that Mars energy. Okay? Because it's in, it's in Aries. The sun is, is the sun is in Aries. So if you're dealing with Aries or you were dealing with Aries, you may feel the urge to communicate because Mercury is in the play too as well as Venus so I also with the Scorpion energy y'all wrap it up okay because it's, it's in the air all right um but it says progress not perfection don't worry about what others got to say or what you're doing you know your life you know your struggles you know what you can and can't do to hell with them people they don't know your life nor live your life and I'm getting for most of y'all <laughs> I can guarantee if they did know your life they couldn't walk that shit if you gave them your shoes as as well as a three step path. They can't do that shit. They can't do what you do. Because only you can move like you through a room full of vultures and still come out the whole you. You did. Alright. Also, I have Paranoid. Life lessons. Okay. I believe. I forgot who got this for. Big Pisces. Sagittarius. I can't remember. But, um, or Virgo got this card. I think I believe it's Virgo. 
Um, life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and the blessing that they contain. So let go of the resentment, forgive the other person, forgive yourself, forgive the situation, but learn from it. Gain the knowledge and the wisdom in order to move forward to be able to see that face, see through that face again and recognize that hey, I didn't see you before. So I have a choice to move forward. Go play the game of chess. It's up to you. But I ain't gonna lose me. Well, I be out here tripping and doing extra shit that I ain't that I ain't talking about feelings. So deep in feelings. Yeah, like all of that shit, you know? Yeah, Scorpio, y'all don't like to feel like that, but y'all definitely, I, I definitely feel that energy here. And it's an indecisive life. Nah, I'm good. Nah, man. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> so let's rock. All right, so I see a lot of y'all are <clears throat> wanting to offer a balanced, stable commitment, possibly to an earth sign. Um, but this could be anything. This could also be a financial opportunity that it could be coming your way to bring your life balance, okay? But you're going to have to speak clarity between the 15th to the 31st. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay, or a Taurus, all right? But I, I see strongly that you're going to be communicating or receiving communication from someone, okay? And this is someone who possibly in the past made you feel somewhat rejected, okay? You're going to receive this information while you getting your balance back. Once you've got your balance back, you get that new financial blessing that's coming your way, okay? That new some some of y'all could also be getting a new job. If you've been having some issues looking for work, that new job is on the way between the fifteenth and the thirty first of July. I do see some of y'all are gonna to have to go back possibly to go on the fire sign and possibly give some truth or receive some truth and it's gonna cause someone, you or the other person to make a judgment call, okay? I feel like you feel like, some of y'all feel like if you give this truth to this, to this person, this person is going to reject you or judge you, okay? And it's definitely someone you know in the past. Could be either a fire sign or a water sign, okay? Could also be an air sign as well. <clears throat> but I do see that a lot of y'all, you needed to trust your intuition. Some of y'all are only needing to go back to the past to deliver a message or this person to you, okay? Because maybe someone intuitively felt something in the past, okay? And now that 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 truth is going to be surfacing uh, mid-July, Scorpio, okay? I do see a lot of y'all are definitely giving clarity or receiving some form of clarity, okay, this month. So there is going to be communication because it's a few sword cards here. So it's definitely going to be communication here with someone from your past, okay? And I feel like intuitively some of y'all have already possibly dreamt how the conversation going to go. Some of y'all are kind of stuck in your head on moving forward, or not moving forward. Some of y'all don't know if y'all want to just say if it, I'm going to leave it in the past. But y'all definitely want to offer someone something. Or going to be offering someone something mid July. Okay. Even if it's the clarity that they need or you need in order to move forward. Let me get it. Okay. So I feel like with some of y'all. With this balance. Okay. We're balancing out the situation. I feel like y'all in y'all head about it, okay? You definitely in your head about it. And I feel like you imprisoning your damn self. For some of y'all, is definitely involving the source. But you in your head about it. And to be honest with y'all, you're the magician. You have every resource that you need. You know how to communicate with this person. You and this person have a bond. You have the coin. Like I said, first the coin. Boom. And then when everything's going good, more boom, okay? I wouldn't be surprised if I see the tower here because the judgment card is here. The Queen of Swords. Let's get it. Yeah, definitely. Y'all possibly going to be cutting off someone who... Or cutting off the way that you looked at things. Maybe cutting off the idea of this person leaving you out in the cold or something to that nature. Y'all going to be cutting off that, that mindset of crying over still milk and moving forward with y'all two damn cups. Like, some of y'all going to make that judgment call. Some of y'all will be communicating something with the fire sign or receiving communication from a fire sign and then you're gonna need to make a judgment call okay this is someone in the past who did not have clarity about a situation okay maybe this person intuitively felt something okay and the fact that i said that it felt on it I, it, it fell on the high priestess some of y'all that could be truth and clarity regarding a child okay it definitely some of y'all could be receiving some form of clarity or speaking truthfully about a family situation Okay, maybe someone didn't have clarity about it in the past, and you're going to be communicating that, or this person is going to be communicating that to y'all. 
between the, uh, the 15th and the 31st of uh, July. For some of y'all, y'all had to leave somebody or leave somebody out in the cold, possibly for an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, who possibly could have had a baby. Or this could have, again, y'all know, I shouldn't have to keep saying that because you know your situation. I'm telling you what I see in the cards, okay? Because y'all be, because some of y'all be doing the most Scorpio with the shits. Like, well, no, it wasn't them. It was the other person. And I, look, I, don't do that, okay? You know your life, baby. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Some of y'all are going to, okay. <laughs> some of y'all have fast communication regarding a job opportunity, okay? Of some sort, all right? But in order to move forward with that job opportunity, y'all, Ooh, some of y'all, and this is more for the men. Some for my men, Scorpio. Some of y'all, in order to move forward with that job opportunity, y'all gonna y'all gonna receive a beautiful opportunity. It's God given. It's God given. However, you are gonna receive information about that, but you're gonna have to move forward with some truth and clarity that you have kind of been stuck and not making a decision on regarding the family situation. Some of y'all don't have the clarity that you need in order to move away from your past, so you've been kind of been holding yourself to it okay intuitively i feel like you already know about a situation involving the child but i feel like once you get the clarity that you need you're going to heal from it you're going to heal from the situation all right and it's definitely involving children or you'll be able to heal and move forward with your soulmate or someone who you knew when you were younger who you possibly want to give uh you want to give love to but i feel strongly this is just once you need the truth and clarity in order for you to reunite with somebody okay because i feel like in, until you get this truth and clarity regarding these children whoever this is for and this could be for someone who scorpio you could have a mate who's going through this okay but it's definitely within your energy okay and within your energy could mean could be somebody who lives in your house your friend someone who absorbs your energy who you give your energy to or yourself okay so I feel like there's definitely, before you can reunite your family, I feel like there's information that you're needing to know. The fact that the Queen of Swords is here in two different days, there's definitely information that you're needing to know. And the Queen, this Queen of Swords, look, Queen, <laughs> I've been through some shit. Now, I'm still loving, and we can be cool, but don't come up on my throne with that shit. I'll cut you, Okay. This is my baby mama card. The Queen of Pentacles is for me the baby mama. Okay, and sometimes, sometimes, not all the times, but in y'all case, the energy I feel from it, this is somebody's baby mama. She could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Strong emphasis on the Taurus. Okay, but I feel like intuitively, you're carrying the burden, or maybe you're burdened by someone else that you know. I don't know if this situation could be burdening you with making a decision. Okay, but I strongly feel like with Scorpio, before you move forward, some of y'all gonna find out that Billy Jean is not the Billy Jean is not your son. Okay? And it's gonna hurt. But some of y'all, you're gonna find out that it is your child, you're gonna be able to move forward in a soulmate, in a soulmate relationship. Because I do see you got the ten of cups, you got the six of cups. So this is definitely someone that you know possibly have children with, okay? This could also be Gemini Libra Aquarius in the building, but I strongly feel like something, Scorpio, you have to put these burdens down. And whatever truth and clarity that is coming that is coming to you or is being given is definitely going to bring balance back into your life because it's going to allow you to move forward on a clean slate, with a clean slate with someone who you love. And trust you, trust you me, the chariot is definitely coming in with that truth and clarity. If you're waiting on the cancer, they coming, baby. Especially if you have children with this person, and some of y'all could also, this is karma. karma. For some of y'all, I'm going to straight up tell you, because I pulled the life lessons card. For some of y'all, the person in your energy or you, Scorpio, is karma. This is karma. This is a very karmatic situation. And if you left someone out or left someone in the cold, and someone left you in the cold without clarity, you finna get that clarity. But the clarity for some of y'all, it's going to go in your favor because the karmic scales will be balanced, okay? But it's definitely children involved or a soulmate relationship because that six of cups came out twice. Y'all let me know in the comments because I feel like y'all got a fire sign or a water sign person or air. everybody's here. Scorpios, y'all are kind of being stiff, but you're going to have to get past this one, baby. You, you got the nine. This is the nine of wands, okay? 
So you at the nine. You got one more fight in you, my baby. You got one last fight. Push through it. You got this. You got one last fight, my baby. Push through it. You got it. You got one last fight, my baby. Before you can get to your soulmate relationship and there's victory. But you got to move forward. You got to move forward with your truth in a clean slate. And for some of y'all, y'all have to communicate with two people about this. Okay? For some of y'all, y'all could definitely be dealing with a Gemini. Or this could be someone who you possibly met in the month of June or start talking to again in the month of June. For some of y'all, y'all could be wanting to give, whoa, y'all could be wanting to give a solid offer to an Aries. Okay? But, or some of y'all could also be receiving an offer from an earth sign that could involve, I feel like this is my, my father card. Like, you may be dealing with a younger earth sign. And this truth and clarity is going to allow y'all to move forward and have victory. And you deserve victory, Scorpio. Why don't you? But this devil energy right here that you just sitting here freaking hanging around in, that's not going to be able to happen because guess what? That truth and clarity needs to happen. It needs to happen, my dears. It has to happen. There's a life lesson in this. Forgive. Be forgiven. Clear the karmic slate. And move forward on a new one. So you can win. What is you waiting for? Just do it. Like Nike, baby. Just do it. Screw, screw. Take off. Just do it. I mean, what's the hold up? But that truth and clarity of you waiting for it? Oh, baby. Uh, cross your damn cross your, cross your damn ankles and get comfortable in your seat, honey. Because you finna get what you was waiting on. Intuitively, some of y'all already knew. But what you knew intuitively is finna come to the surface or this could be in your energy. But communication definitely will be coming and it's definitely going to take place. And that Mercury and that Mars energy is going to help it, help it out just, just fine. But don't worry, Venus is transiting too. So that's the planet of love. You get a lot of love afterwards. Love and passion and stuff. All of that is up to them. Okay? But you don't have to communicate and actually learn from it and grow from it. And don't dislike somebody because they tell you something about yourself. That's for somebody too. I love y'all. So August, baby, if you need that personal, hit me up. It's in the description. Deuces, booze.